at Chambers Bay, fans will get to see a bout between two of the world's best amateurs to decide this year's U.S. Amateur Champion. David Chung versus Peter Uline. It's been something that was unexpected for me, really. I was just trying to have as good of a summer as I could, just trying to get one win. And to, you know, to get two and to get to here is just, you know, unbelievable. You know, tomorrow will be fun. You know, we've played together for a long time. And, uh, you know, it's, it's nice that, you know, you get to go up against a friend, so. To get to the finals, Chung defeated last year's U.S. Amateur champion, Byung Hung An, one up after being three down through nine holes. For An, he was trying to become the next repeat winner at the U.S. Amateur, a feat that was last accomplished by Tiger Woods in 1994 to 1996 when he won three in a row. Unfortunately for An, his great run this year came to an end. It is definitely disappointing because I was playing really well this week. I was hitting well at the range and I was hitting well at the course and putting well. But yeah, I wish I could have made it tomorrow, not just winning or, you know, just, it doesn't have to be a win, but, you know, I just really wanted to play in the finals match and, you know, because that was a goal. In the other semifinal match, Patrick Cantlay tried to hang tough with Peter Uline. But then on the back nine, something went Uline's way. Peter Uline never trailed in his match versus Patrick Cantlay, and the 2009 U.S. Walker Cup member will now have the chance to win his country's greatest amateur prize. Knowing David off the golf course, you know, it'll be fun. You know, it, tomorrow will be a good time, and, uh, you know, I'm looking forward to it. Chung versus Uline, two of the world's best, getting ready to determine who will leave Chambers Bay number one. I now want to bring in my Golf Week colleague, Ron Balicki. And Ron, before we preview this final matchup between David Chung and Peter Uline, let's kind of talk a little bit about what we saw at the semifinals. Yesterday, you and I said that Byung Han An had to be a little bit more aggressive. He was six under through six holes. He still lost. I know. Unbelievable, isn't it? I mean, six under through six holes, three up at, after nine. But, you know, it, it was even like we talked yesterday. David Chung is a grinder. Yeah. And, and he's, gonna, you know, he's not going to get rattled. He's going to go out there. He's going to do what he has to do, and he did it today. Yeah. And then on the other side of the board, you know, Peter Uline, yes, he is now in the finals, but hasn't it been kind of quiet week for Peter? I mean, yeah, he's been winning, we've been talking about, but he's kind of well, flown under the radar, well, hasn't well, he? Well, he because he hasn't blown anybody out. Right. I mean, his first four matches all went at least 17 holes, two of them to 18, one to 19. Yeah. So it, he really hasn't blown anybody out till today, finally. Well, Ron, let's now talk about this final matchup. David Chung versus Peter Uline, arguably the top two amateurs this summer. Right. David Chong won the Western Amateur as well as the Porter Cup. We got Peter, Mr. Northwest all of a sudden. He yeah. wins the Sahali, and now he's a finalist at the U.S. Amateur. This, I mean, we do have the top two golfers here, don't we? We do. Uh, you know, in the, the Golf Week, uh, in golf, Amateur Golf rankings, they rank two and four, and one and three are foreigners. They, they're not here. Right. So, I mean, you couldn't ask. I mean, if you started at the beginning of the week with 312 players and said what would be the ideal final match, this would be it. And we've been waiting all summer for somebody to kind of be Mr. America here in the amateur golf world. And now we're going to get it. I thought that him. was you. No, 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 not me. I don't have a belt buckle like Scott Langley. <laughs> but the point is, we're now going to have it. One of these yep. two guys really is going to earn that title of the top amateur of the summer. Right. You're absolutely right. And uh, it should be pretty exciting tomorrow. Well, I'm afraid to do this as we end the show. I don't even know if we should even do this to end the show. Do we have to do a pick? Do I have to have you kiss, give the kiss of death to somebody? Yeah. <laughs> What well, do you think? <laughs> well, I'm taking David Chung because that's been my pick all oh, along. Oh, I have golfweek.com well, to prove it. So here's the way I figure it. If I, if I pick Peter, uh -huh. I think that by and he loses, next week sometime he's going to make that five-hour drive from Stillwater, <laughs> Oklahoma to my house in Arkansas. He's going to kidnap me, tie me to a pine tree, Please don't say Chung. Please and don't leave say me there Chung. for, Please for Please uh, a black bear oh, brunch. He's going to say Chung. So <laughs> with that in mind... And I like the way David's playing lately. Right. And I couldn't stand uh -oh. for you for the next year to be gloating <laughs> that David Chung, you know, was your pick and you won it. So I'm picking David no, Chung. Oh, no. Uh. And besides, I don't want to be Black Bear Brunch. All right. Well, I'll tell you what. It's going to be a great final amateur championship no matter what happens. No matter it's, who you're right. Wins. You're right. Chambers Bay has been a great course all week as well as the play that we've seen. has just been phenomenal. Yes. So, Ron, I can't wait to see it. Can't wait to talk to you tomorrow. So for Ron It'll Balicki, be fun. For Ron Balicki, I'm Asher Wallman. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in to Golf Week at the U.S. Amateur Championship. I'm sorry, Peter. <laughs>